You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. But uh, let's move over to this next topic here because this is probably going to drive the woke sports media crazy. World number one Novak Djokovic pretty much confirms that he's unvaxxed and he will be able to participate at the Australian Open this month. Because Novak Djokovic hasn't talked about his jab status. He doesn't believe in mandates or anything like that, but he applied for an exemption and he's allowed to participate at the Australian Open. So you can see here on ESPN, Novak Djokovic to defend Australian Open tennis title after exemption from COVID-19 vaccination. So he has not gotten a jab. That's pretty much confirmed. And I'm shocked that he actually got an exemption because you guys probably don't know how crazy Australia is with their mandates. It's insane. It's bad. It's bad. It's really bad. Like, I mean, if you think that New York and California are bad, they're on another level. They have flooded the streets. I mean, they are so close to uh, the people versus the government war over there. I mean, it is crazy. Some of the some of the things that's come out of Australia is just jaw dropping. Yeah, that that yeah. should be a lesson for folks. Don't let the government get too much control over you. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I'm just Was saying. Telling, probably one of the reasons why they allowed him this exemption is probably because this man's a nine-time champion at the Australian Open. When you think of the Australian Open in tennis, you're going to think of Novak Djokovic. And Rafa Nadal caught the virus. And they're the two biggest names that are actually playing right now. I know Roger Federer is still there, but let's face it, Roger Federer is 40 years old. He's done. Um, Rafa Nadal probably won't play because he caught the Wuhan virus. And that probably messed up his uh, preparation. So if you don't have Djokovic and Nadal, the men's side is going to be unwatchable. So that's the problem right there. Uh, he tweeted out um, this. He said, um, I spent um, fantastic quality time with my loved ones over the break. And today I'm heading down under with an exemption permission. Let's go 2022. And that is uh, the Joker right there. Because he has a lot on the line. He has 20 Grand Slam titles. And that's tied with Rafa Nadal and Roger Federer. This is his best surface. He'll be the favorite to actually win a record-breaking 21st Grand Slam title. Because I said it before in my previous videos, I'm a bit tennis fan. If he didn't play going into the French Open, I know he's the defending champion. I don't believe he'll be, he'll be the favorite. Nadal is a 12-time champion at the French Open. So I believe that Nadal definitely would have been a favorite going into there. So theoretically, Nadal would have had 21 titles versus Djokovic 20. Now we have to see how it all actually uh, does play out. But I'm shocked. I'm shocked. And it says here, organizers of the Australian Open have stipulated that all participants must be vaccinated against the coronavirus or have a medical exemption granted by an independent panel of experts. The organizers issued a statement later on Tuesday to confirm Djokovic will be allowed to compete at the Australian Open and is on his way to Australia. Quote, Djokovic applied for a medical exemption, which was granted following a rigorous review process involving two separate independent panels of medical experts, the statement said. One of those was the independent medical exemption review panel appointed by the Victorian Department of Health. They assess all applications to see if uh, they met the Australian Technical Advisory Group on immunization guidelines. Hmm. Interesting, you know, that they even allowed an independent group to even make this, uh, this uh, decision right here. Huh. Well, 
Look, in my opinion, they did this for one reason and one reason only. Ad revenue. They did this because of television ratings. Yeah. If we don't if we don't have him, the television ratings are going to go in the dumpster. And when hmm. uh, the advertisers for the Australian Open found out that he might not be in it, they probably started ringing some phones behind the scenes yeah. and was like, you better figure out how to grant him an exemption because at this point, he's the only SOB anybody's going to tune in to watch. Yeah, because I don't figure think Nadal's going to be there. I don't believe that Federer is going to be there. Uh, somebody brought up uh, Medvedev. Uh, he's a really good player. Um, is the Nets best in the future? We have to see, man. There's been a lot of um, people talking like I was high on a uh, dominant team. He's not playing the Australian Open. So I don't know. They needed a big name. I know they had this panel, but something's telling me the Australian Open was, was clearly looking at, we need somebody to sell this thing. It, it, wait a minute, hypocrisy. If they're so worried about the freaking pandemic, why are y'all still having the damn tournament? Good point. Good point <laughs> I, right I mean, there. You know, I thought <laughs> I ought to just throw that out, but uh, cancel the damn tournament if you're that freaking concerned about the Wuhan virus. No, no, we're not going to do that because at the end of the day, those greenbacks mean more than anything else. And yep. those greenbacks are tied to ad revenue and exactly. television ratings. Exactly. Plain, plain and simple. I mean, it's, it's unfortunately, that's why the NBA will probably forever stay around because dumb entities like the Marxist ESPN of China will continue to give the Marxist NBA of China greenbacks. That is why that league will never fold. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.